Johannes Kepler, the second European spacecraft to the International Space Station, is now ready for launch in Kourou, Europe's spaceport. Johannes Kepler is the first production unit of the ATV, the Automated Transport Vehicle, following on from the highly successful first flight model Jules Verne in 2008. After the retirement of the US Space Shuttle, it will become the largest vehicle supplying the ISS. The Automated Transport Vehicle, ATV, is uh, a key pillar in the International Space Station logistics. And it's an important step for Europe uh, to show how reliable we are as an international partner to the ISS. Considering its technological challenges, like automatic rendezvous and docking, ATV is the most sophisticated space vehicle ever built in Europe. Its digital and electronic architecture features double and triple redundancies. A fault-tolerant computer, consisting of three computer modules, ensures the reliable and smooth execution of the ATV mission. With ATV2, we are demonstrating that uh, we are finally able to procure a set of very complex spacecrafts uh, at the pace of one per year, which is also demonstrating the ability of our industries to be at the same level of the other industries in the world, thanks to the strong support of the European Space Agency and our ability to manage them. Only a few days before liftoff, the more than seven tons of cargo of the ATV-2 have now been fully loaded. The biggest bulk are propellants to reboost the ISS to its operational orbit, an exercise that will be closely monitored by ESA astronaut Paolo Nespoli and the rest of the crew. But there's also room for fuel, gas, water and dry cargo, including food, scientific material and astronauts' belongings. On its journey back home and filled with waste material from the ISS, it will burn up in the atmosphere just above the Pacific Ocean. With such quality transport logistics, it's only a question of getting further and further. We are developing together with the international partners of the International Space Station a strategy called Common Transportation Policy, through which we would like to support in a robust way the utilization of the space station in the next coming two decades. And also we would like to prepare all together for the long-term exploration of the solar system. With ATV-2 about to be launched and ATV-3 Eduardo Amaldi already under construction, Europe takes on a new challenging role in pushing the barriers of space exploration one step further. <laughs>